was at the club and uh, spanking this fool ass, right? Yeah. I gave it a two piece spank. My second one, man, it cries. You broke your hand on the fat girl's ass. I've been in the club. It's strong, dude. Ralphie May, and uh, this is the Sausages.com, bitches. So, so it goes. Not for other people who won, but you won a comedy contest back in the day. Yeah. I'm starting. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah, Sam Kinison did. That's so funny. It's one of my favorite stories. Um, Going, I was 17 and I was going to uh, high school and college at the same time and um, I entered a contest to uh, uh, open for Sam Kennis and his opener was stuck and couldn't make the gig and I um, uh, I was performing at a uh, Shakey's Pizza and uh, I did stand up and I won and the radio station put it on and I was riding in the limo the first time I ever ridden in the limo was with Sam Kennis and um, we get to, and he was on the way over there, and he goes, kid, are you nervous? And I go, no. He goes, kid, there's going to be 3,500 people there, and none of them paid to see you. And I go, all right, I'm a little nervous. And he goes, yeah, you probably should be. Do you have a closer? And I go, no, what's that? And he goes, it's a big joke at the end of your set to finish your set with. Oh, okay, all right. And he goes, do you have one? And I go, um, I had one, but I didn't know I had it. And he goes, just use one of my old ones. Just if they start to... You know, if, if you're at the end of your show, just start yelling and screaming at the audience. The more you yell and scream at them and cuss at them, the more they'll love you. I'm like, really? They go, yeah. All right, so I'm about uh, six minutes in, and I'm doing really well. And then I flip a punchline in a setup, and my joke bombs. And then I, um, I that joke um, was the basis for the next joke. And so that joke bombs. And, and, um, and I'd been doing great up until then. And I remember what Sam said, so I was like, Hey, you stupid inbred, Ned Beatty, pig fucking y'all, fuck your mothers, you fucking assholes. All right, 3,500 people in unison, boo, boo. They start booing me, right? Okay, and they're just being total dicks, right? And I'm like, oh, fuck me. So I was like, oh, shit. And, and I started to cry a little bit on stage, you know, I'm 17, all right? I get off stage without being introduced, no fanfare, no music, nothing. Mm -hmm. Sam comes out there and goes, can you believe that kid? Come out here and talking to you good people like that. He will never be a show business again. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, now I'm really crying, okay? Now I'm really upset. I go backstage and I'm looking for a, a pay phone to call my mom, okay, to come pick me up, call her to collect, right? Mm -hmm. And I left my car shaky as I drove over on the limo, right? And um, um, uh, Bill Kennison, Sam's brother, comes over and hangs the phone up and goes, Kid, Sam thought that was hilarious. He never thought that you would uh, fucking do that. You set him up perfect because he, he was being protested. All right? And he goes, he thought that was fucking hilarious. Why don't you uh, come with us to the after party? I'm like, okay. So we go to the after party, and uh, there's fucking hookers and strippers and shit, and rails of blow, like eight inch rails of blow, with fucking, I mean, thick too, dude, and it was kind of yellowy blow, which apparently is like the best shit, okay, and um, uh, there was uh, like a, drugs, a bowl of joints, okay, just crazy booze, okay, just everything was there, and uh, Sam comes out of a room with two chicks, and uh, does a line, and goes, kid, order some pizza, alright, and makes up a fucking, like a, a triple, uh, the, a triple, uh, some tan uh tan liquor i don't know like a whiskey or something like that okay and um i call shakey's again okay it's the only number i knew and um uh they deliver the pizzas sam pays for the pizza and then tips the guy three baggies of cocaine 30 minutes later we get a phone call hey you guys need more pizza you need more pizza we'll be right there no problem more pizza no worries dude all right and um Sam uh, wrote me a letter of introduction and told me to uh, to go to uh, Houston, and that's where he started stand up. And told me to uh, uh, to uh, uh, got me in with the radio guys there, uh, Rock 101 KLOL, and uh, really helped me out. And every time he'd come into town, he'd have me open for him and stuff. And he was he was really really kind to me when he shouldn't, when he had no reason to be, and uh, told me that I was funny, and, and uh, when he passed away, it really just shook me to my core, you know, he was uh, he was a really good man to me, and it's so strange, he died at 39, and um, 
when the day he died, I was driving to Laughlin, the same route that he took when he died, and I was going to play at the Riverside Casino, the same place he was going to perform, and uh, Howard Stern was talking about him, and uh, it was just amazing, it was just an amazing confluence of things, and it was just, just made me cry, it was just like, wow, you know, I mean, this is, I'm on the same road as, as Sam, and I'm, uh, I'm going to the same place as Sam, and Howard's talking about him, and I have radio guys in my life that I love that way, you know, uh, you know, uh, the guys in, um, uh, in Florida, you know, Cowhead and Paul and Young Ron and down in Miami and, and Cowhead in Tampa and, and, uh, John Holmberg in the morning sickness and, um, in Phoenix, you know, those guys, they love me the most. And so it's like, I have that type of relationship with those guys. I go to their house, you know, they come to my house. It's, it's, um, it's like that type of thing, and so it's like I, I experienced so much of what Sam did, and, and now I'm 39 at the same time, and now I'm 40, and I have so much more than he ever had. You know, I have a wife, I have children, I have, you know, I have success, and it, it's just, and at the same time, I have nothing what he had. You know, I have, I don't have the movies, I don't have the, the films, but I have, I have more specials than what he had. I have more albums out. And so it's like so weird, you know, that you get to an uh, opportunity to be, uh, you know, that you are just a student, a student, a student, until you've done more than the teacher, you know. But the legend lives on, you know. His material is genius, and I don't know if, if mine will survive the 25 years, you know. You know, he was a godsend. He was an amazing, amazing comedian. Now, when you're not getting paid, laid a blaze, what are you doing? Man, you know, I am uh, I'm kind of lame. I'm I'm happy being a daddy, man. I really am. I like I like uh, hanging out with my kids. I like flying them around. I like uh, I like reading to them, playing with them, giving them baths, stuff like that. I like working in my garden when I get a chance to. It's been a tough year for my garden, you know. It's been real hot. It's your favorite thing to grow. Oh man, uh, it used to be weed. I I, uh, I used to grow a shit ton of weed, uh, but now tomatoes, tomatoes and uh, peppers and stuff like that. Yeah, um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a homebody, man. I'm southern, you know. I make jelly and jam with my babies this year, you know. I'm, I make peach jam and uh, uh, blackberry jam, so it's like I'm no, easy like Sunday morning, man. Yeah, right. It's fucking bomb squad. It's really good. Yeah. Alright, we'll wrap it up here in a second. Um, what's the favorite place? What's your favorite place you've been so far? And why? Man, I have so many great places. You know, Houston's always a place for me because I started there. I love being there. Um, L.A., uh, Seattle, uh, all fun. Uh, New York is a blast. Um, I have. I just had a great time in um, in Detroit, at, at Rochester Hills. The uh, 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 the uh, 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 wood. Uh, the, the music festival out there, okay, uh, it was amazing, um, but, uh, you know, I mean, there's been so many great places, you know, I've been doing stand-up now for 23 years, so it's like, there's been so many wonderful places and stuff and things that I've done, so it's like, it's very hard to, you know, pick one, you know, what's the best, I don't know, brother, I don't know, it's a hard question, but, you know, I have a good time, you know, everything I do, I have a great, I have a blast. Awesome. Well, I appreciate your time, man. Hey, hey man, thank you so much. Sausage? Hey, man, uh, I love sausage. Uh, spicy, fucking Italian. Uh, fucking, I, I love it. I love it. Thanks, brother.